started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, become a part of the May Day YouTube family. I'm really looking forward to getting to know a lot of you guys more and smash that like button if you like these ideas as well. Hello, May Day family. It's so nice to be with you guys today. I'm so excited about the topic that we will be talking about. How to make a little bit more money, a little bit more money, okay? Like I, everyone wants to make more money. That's always a question that I get asked, especially with clients uh, that might be looking for a new job or looking for new opportunities. Let's make a little bit more money. Let's make a little bit more money, okay? None of these ways are gonna be anything that has to do with getting an eight to five or anything that has to do with working for, for corporate. You are able to make an additional minimum of $2,000 a week if you are implementing these things correctly or if you just choose one and you kind of like dedicate all of your free time to that one particular method, you're able to make so much more. Essentially just able to build a better lifestyle for yourself overall because let's face it, who couldn't use more money? Who couldn't use a little bit more money? I don't know what to do, I just lost my job, I can't think of any ideas, I want to do something on the side, but that's something I've been thinking about and I'm not sure what to do, what do I do, how can I make more money. In this video, I will give you a couple of suggestions on how you can effectively and efficiently make a minimum of $2,000 in addition to what you are already making per week. So let's go ahead and get it started. The fourth way in which you can start making an additional $2,000 plus per week, blogging. You could start blogging and if you like to write, if you're someone that's really passionate about writing and you really like to write and that's something that you're really good at, you could literally make an additional 2K per week on a minimum. If you uh, were to start a blog and you don't even really have to be very technical, you don't have to be really good with computers in order to start a blog. Just get online and look up on Google how to start a blog and you will find a couple of different websites that list out detailed instructions on how to actually start a blog. I mean, they're just so easy to make. You could even go on a website like Wix.com. That website builds it for you, so you don't even have to worry about it. You could build one from scratch. It just kind of depends on what you want to do and how much you want to invest. If you're someone that really likes writing, blogging would be a great way for you to make additional income. Through blogging, you're able to make an additional 2K per week, if not more. If you're someone who likes to write and you have a passion for it, I would definitely suggest blogging. You get paid for ads, you get paid for affiliate programs of things that you already use and love. You get paid from brands that want to promote their brand on your website, brands that you believe in. If you start a blog and that blog is successful and people keep coming back to read your content, then other affiliate programs and other brands are going to want to be associated with you and that's something that they'll pay for. You can also get paid through products that you create and you sell yourself. You could maybe at some point create a comprehensive uh, book or something that has everything that you've talked about in it. I would definitely suggest just going on Google and actually researching how to get started. It's a really nice additional money for everything that you want to get done. The third way in which you can make an additional 2000 per week and become your own boss, become a freelancer. There are so many websites out there where you can market yourself and sell your services and companies and individuals will actually get on that website seeking the service that you offer and will actually hire you through that website. An example is Upwork, a website that you can sign on to depending on what it is that you freelance or what services that you offer and you can market yourself. It has a lot of people that get on there every day that are looking for particular talent or looking for something to get done or that they need to get done and that they're looking to hire and you can pick your own rate pick up your own how much you want to charge for 
uh, the service that you're offering, you can basically detail everything out and essentially just becoming your own boss. Think about it, guys. With these type of opportunities already, becoming your own boss, if, even if you're doing it on the side, you could be making an additional $2,000 a week just by doing this on the side because it's going to be managed by you. You're the one that's going to be running it and it's going to be something that you can do literally from the comfort of your own home. You can choose what you want to do. And not only that, because you are able to choose what it is that you want to do and what it is that you want to invest your time in, you're a lot more likely to be able to even exceed that amount, make even more than $2,000 a week, and be passionate about what it is that you're doing, uh, whether it's on the side or whether you chose to do it full time. Some other websites that you can actually get on as well include websites like eHow, Listverse and Brighthub. So these are some examples of websites that will actually pay you to write content for them. They will literally pay you to write content for them. You can literally make 2K a week, if not more. These are endless possibilities. And when clients come to me with questions such as I don't know what to do, because there's so many possibilities out there, it it surprises me, it shocks me, right? You could also sell other services like website designer or an essay writer, something as simple as writing essays. People are always looking for other people to do their work for them. So if that's a service that you're offering to other people, you're offering value and that's something that they'll pay for. If someone's in college and working at the same time and an essay is due, they might get on Upwork looking for someone that's able to write that essay for them and and they will pay you a substantial amount in order to do that, in order for you to help them do that. American College of Healthcare Services. American College of Healthcare Services actually pays people to blog about healthcare services on their blog. So you can actually get paid to blog on their blog and you don't even have to start a blog of your own. Whether you choose to add several of these suggestions together or you choose to focus on one, how easy it can be for you to actually supplement your income and make over $2,000 more than what you're making on a weekly basis. You'd be getting that shmoney. You could even make more than that. You keep scaling, so the longer you do it, the more you make. Selling things on either eBay or Amazon. When eBay first started, I was one of the ones that got on that platform and I started selling things on there. And I made a lot of money from doing that. I, I kid you not, I paid my way through my bachelor's degree by doing that. It brings in and generates a lot of additional cash flow and a lot of additional income, especially on a weekly basis. Go the route of specializing, quote unquote specializing, but putting your focus mainly on one industry, one thing. So picking one thing of focus and listing that uh, on your eBay account and getting people to buy it. My focus was within electronics, it was cell phones. So I would actually flip cell phones. I would get on eBay, buy the cell phones for, for cheap because there was either something wrong with them, maybe they were water damaged or the screen was cracked. And so I would be able to get an iPhone for uh, $45 or $50 and then I would buy the parts and then I would replace the parts and fix the phone and turn around and make a profit of over 80% on that cell phone because I was able to, to fix it and then flip it. You just have to do some research on what's hot right now. One of the things that tends to always be hot is cell phones, right? Like especially the iPhone. So that's what I was doing is I was specifically selling my iPhones and buying iPhones and fixing them and selling them again. I would also go to garage sales and I would buy certain things from garage sales that I thought were cool. I would list them and they would sell. It's not as time consuming as maybe blogging might be or writing might be about. I promise you, you can make so much money off of doing this, especially on those two platforms, especially Amazon. I mean, who, anyone who's anyone is on Amazon right now. If you can get your products posted on Amazon and start selling on Amazon, you're good to go. Just doing this alone could get you $2,000 plus. As soon as you find what it is, 
that sells and that you're interested in and that you can get your hands on and then just list it on the website. That's all you gotta do and just wait for someone to purchase it and ship it over to them. That's it. I make easily over like $3,000 a week just by doing that. Everyone is doing their shopping online. Everyone is doing everything online. So if you find that one thing that you're able to get your hands on and you want to sell, that's my number two tip is to get on eBay and get on Amazon and list it and sell it and get your money. Get your money. That brings us to number one. Drum roll. So this is my number one favorite way in which to make or with which to make additional income and additional cash flow. And that is invest. Like investing is one of the best ways to make additional income. I just love it the most because you're able to do it from home. It makes you money. As I'm sitting here making this video for you guys, my investments are making money. So it makes you money on top of money every second of every day. And that's just the best type of money. Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that. Invest aggressively, but wisely. It's challenging to do that because if you want to make a substantial amount to where you're living solely based on your investment, you can do that. You can make enough money to where you're living solely on your investments and you're saving everything else. Investing is my number one tip. Getting good at that or seeking the assistance of a financial advisor, I would definitely recommend going that route. But investing, if you have funds to invest, is one of the best ways, guys, because even as I stand here now, my investments are making money. And that's just the way that you want to go. You want to make your money work for you. You don't want to work for your money. Uh, that's not the goal. The goal is to make your money work for you and investing is a really, really great way of doing that. I even trade on my phone using the Robinhood app. That's an app that you use and you're able to trade stocks. So I actually have one of those. I actually have an account and I use it. I use it to trade stocks on my free time. I get on and I take a look at everything and you know, I'm, I'm able to make money just by doing that as well. And there's all types of stocks. Amazon stocks are on there eBay stocks are on there, like all these companies are on there. So you get to choose how you want to invest and what you want to invest in, when you want to sell, when you want to buy, things like that. So I actually do it just for fun. I have some money in there that I kind of play with, not play with, but invest with. Uh, but when it comes to being a little bit more aggressive with the investing, uh, I do have, um, a separate investment account for that. Using the Robinhood app, you could actually grow those funds to the point where you're living off of those funds and you literally don't have to do anything else. I have seen people that have thousands and thousands of dollars in that in that app and they transfer it to their bank account as they need to or want to and they just keep making money because they keep investing and they don't have to work or do anything else that's just what they do they've gotten really good at it really good at investing knowing what to invest in knowing when to buy knowing when to sell and they're able to kind of like live off of that and live very very comfortably and they make a lot more than two thousand dollars a week right betterment wealthfront open portfolio those those are all investment apps that you can use and invest and kind of trade try to understand the market or try to understand the dynamics of, of buying and selling to be able to to kind of scale up to making a minimum of two thousand dollars in addition to what you're already making a week the more money that you invest the more money you make that's just kind of the way that it works and the more money you make the more money you're able to invest <laughs> this is no bs these are all legit real ways of making money and making a good amount of money uh, on a weekly basis in addition to whatever income you already have that people just usually don't think of you can also choose to invest through an investment firm like Merrill Lynch. You have the ability to choose what stocks you're investing in, or if you don't feel comfortable with doing that, you always have a financial advisor, depending on how aggressive you wanna be and how much you are actually investing. When I say aggressive, it means 
um, how much risk are you willing to take on? Because that's something that kind of comes with investing. You just have to take the first step. And these are all legit things. These are real ways. If you think about each one of those ways, you can see how that would scale up and actually make that kind of money every week. So it's not like one of those videos where it's like a, a thing where they just make you click on it and the advice is stupid or it sucks or it's legal, you know? No, these are actually real things. These are not only real things, these are real things that I do. And I wanted to kind of share it with you guys. There's no limit to how much you can make. And it's not something that you would have to sit in a cubicle five hours or eight hours a day just to make the same amount, if not less. You can make at least two grand a week, even more, depending on how much time you have to invest in it. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. As always, I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of the Mayday family and sharing your time with me today. Comment, subscribe. I'm so excited to be talking to you and I look forward to speaking with you on the next video. Bye-bye.